The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. To find the area of the triangle shown, we use our formula for the area of a triangle, which is one-half base times height. Notice that we have a right triangle, so the legs of the triangle can be labeled as the base and height. To find the values of B and H, notice that we have a 55-degree angle in our triangle. Since a 55-degree angle will not create one of our special right triangles, let's use trigonometry to find the values of B and H. Another clue that we'll be using trigonometry is provided in the instructions, which ask us to round our answer to the nearest hundredth. So, to find the value of h, notice that h is the length of the side opposite the 55-degree angle, and 3 is the length of the hypotenuse, and remember that sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so we can set up the equation sine of 55 degrees equals h over 3. Multiplying both sides of the equation by 3, we have 3 times the sine of 55 degrees equals h. And plugging this information into our calculator, we find that 2.45745 equals h. So the height of the triangle is 2.45745. To find the value of B, notice that B is the length of the side adjacent to the 55-degree angle, and 3 is the length of the hypotenuse, and remember that cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so we can set up the equation cosine of 55 degrees equals B over 3. Multiplying both sides of the equation by 3, we have 3 times the cosine of 55 degrees equals b. And plugging this information into our calculator, we find that 1.72072 equals b. So the base of the triangle is 1.72072 which means that the area of the triangle is one-half times 1.72072 times 2.45745, which simplifies to 2.11429. And rounding to the nearest hundredth, our final answer is 2.11. Notice that we take all of our decimals out to five places until the very end of the problem when we round to the nearest hundredth. This will ensure that our final answer is accurate. 